So what happened? Can you tell me what happened? Yeah. Um, four people went to the hospital with injuries. Oh my God. And uh, one person died. Oh no. I don't know any of their names and I don't know any genders. So I, I don't Was know. Was that because they fought each other or is that the... I don't know. I don't know what their injuries are. I, I just, I was with Sandy the whole mm -hmm. time. And then when I kind of turned Sandy over to Ernesto and Amy, then I came here. So mm -hmm. I, I, I have no idea what their injuries were. No. Um, oh my God. Welcome to ADMC Interrogations, your number one interrogation channel on YouTube. If you're new here, welcome. We put out new videos every single week, and many times these are cases you have never seen before. If you are not new here, welcome back. I would like to thank all of our members. Thank you for the support to help us continue to bring you content. You are greatly appreciated. Okay, enough rambling, let's get into it. On the Apple River, which is just outside of St. Paul, Minnesota, but it is in Wisconsin, many people enjoy the activity of floating down the river in inner tubes from River's Edge down to whatever exit point they choose. On this particular day, mayhem would ensue. July 30th, 2022, 54-year-old Nikolai Mu was out on the river tubing with a group of his friends when someone in his group lost their phone. While looking for the phone, his path crossed with a group of male teenagers. Finding it odd that Mr. Mew was snorkeling in such shallow waters, the boys asked him what he was doing. It is said that his response was that he was looking for little girls, which has never been confirmed. The heckling would begin from there, and as the teenage boys heckled Nikolai, he became suspicious that they might have somehow gained possession of the phone that he was in search for. As you see here, he approaches the group, and quite aggressively I might add. After he dropped his snorkeling gear, he most definitely made physical contact with at least one of the boys in the tubes while he was trying to retrieve it. This prompted the group to get up out of their tubes and continue to confront Mr. Mew, and Mr. Mew continued to stay in the immediate area. At this point, the heckling from this group of teenage boys turned up a few notches. <laughs> As you can see, a couple of women from another unassociated group come into the situation and continue to demand that Nikolai Mew leave the area. Again, he does not. At this point, Mr. Mew is most definitely surrounded and being screamed at from all angles. We try to have fun. Is he gonna call you? Is he crazy? We don't want this motherfucker. Also, I'm not sure how, but nobody at this point realizes that Mr. Mew has retrieved a pocket knife from his pocket and is brandishing it in his right hand. After allegedly punching, slapping, or pushing one of the women, which doesn't seem to have been caught on film, a male from her group of tubers retaliates against Nikolai, pushing him into the river and then slapping him in the face. This was 21-year-old Dante Carlson. After being surrounded, attacked, and likely afraid, this is where things turn into what can only be described as chaos. After Dante Carlson pushes Mew down and slaps him, 22-year-old AJ Martin was the first person to be injured. 24-year-old Riley Madison was likely the second, followed by 21-year-old Dante Carlson, 24-year-old Tony Carlson, and finally 17-year-old Isaac Schumann. Not necessarily in that order. Isaac Schumann would be stabbed in his heart. 
and after being aided by a registered nurse that happened to be tubing on the Apple River that day, he would succumb to his injuries. Extraordinarily, Isaac Schumann would be the only person to lose their life in this incident. Nikolai Mew would leave the scene, but later would be detained by police. Okay. Stop talking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah. 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 No, You're it's just okay. being detained at this point, okay? Yes. Yeah. Right. What are we checking? Well, yep. checking. Are we checking? Yep. He also had some very bizarre things to say after being detained. Did you see that fight on the river? I heard about it. You heard about it? Yeah, and I seen people gather around it. Okay. All right. And I went over to talk to see if somebody saw anything, but that's about it. Okay. Our whole group was pretty interested in finding out what happened. Okay. And that's your whole group over there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So I don't know. Okay, well, did you see anybody injured? No. You didn't see anybody injured. No. Did you see anybody fighting? I, I heard people screaming at each other. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Screaming in anger or screaming in pain? Do you know? Everybody's drunk, so I don't know. I can't tell the difference, but I would say. Thank you. I don't think. I'm here. Just screaming. Okay. You know, yeah, calling each other names, but you know, that's, I've seen that all day. And we've all been drinking a lot. I'm sure they're drunk. I'm sure they're doing, I don't know. Okay. Kids being kids. Kids being kids. Seems like very strange behavior for someone that believed they acted in a way that was supported by the law. What do you think? After being arrested, Mew would later be questioned at the county jail by Lieutenant Brandy Hart regarding this incident. This is the interrogation of Nikolai Mew, but first, let us have a moment of silence for the victim in this case. Hi there, are you Nick? Yeah. Hi Nick, my name is Brandy. Hi. I'm a lieutenant with the St. Clair County Sheriff's Office, okay? Um, you got some water, right? Great, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have you had anything to eat? No. Okay, let me, uh... Can, I will wait for now. Okay. With food. Are you sure? I'm not happy. Okay. Well, if you get hungry, yeah. just uh, let these guys know, okay? Or let me know when I can. Uh, I'm just very thirsty. Yeah, I bet. Uh, okay, there's a lot we were drinking beer all day and not drinking any water. And it's hot and, and yeah. Being yeah. in the sun all day. Doesn't matter if you're drinking beer. Sometimes you just go and then this, yeah. So I would imagine that you have some questions for me. Well. Um, I am just going to go through the rights form and, you know, let you know if you want to answer any of my questions. We'll talk about that. Um, I'm going to record our conversation, sure. if you're okay with that. Of course. Um, let's see, today is the 30th of July, and it is 7.53 p.m. How do you spell your first name? N I C O L A E. Okay. And last name, um, no middle name. No middle name, okay. Yeah. And what's your last name? M I U. How do you spell, or uh, how do you pronounce that? Mew. Okay. And what's your birthday? Do you, do you like to be called Nikolai or Nick or Nick? What? Nick. Okay. Yeah. Um, December 11th, 1969. Okay, so that makes you 52. 52, thank you. What's your address, Nick? 6117, and I understand you're married to Sandy, right? Okay. Is she okay? She is. Yeah. I did talk to her. I talked to her for quite a while. I brought her to get the dry clothes. Where is she? She is with Ernesto and Amy. Okay, good. They're taking good care of her. And then... Titi. My puppy. She's headed home to take care of the dog. Okay. Um, and she's also with uh, Ario and uh, who's his girlfriend? Oh God, I don't even know. Is it Tatiana? No, Tatiana. Tatiana is another girl. Okay. But she's not Hold on, with they Tatiana. gave me. Yes. Oh, Fanny didn't know Ariel's girlfriend's name. Neither do I. Okay. But 
Ernesto and Amy they, they, came to, to where I was with Sandy, and they went and got the car, but I had brought Sandy to the car to get changed. She was driving, right? No, she was up with me. I brought her from the river to the car okay. so she could get clothes, and we brought the cooler back and put that in the car. Um, so she's got all the stuff. All right. Are you working anywhere now? Mm-hmm. Okay, where do you work? I work at Reach Engineering as a mechanical engineer. Really? Well, I have bigger dreams now, yeah. shattered, but anyway, I don't want to talk about them right now. Okay. I don't know exactly what happened, I just, you know, I, I, I can't talk about it, I need to go one step at a time. Yep, and if you have any questions along the way, Nick, yes. just stop and ask me, okay? Or if you need to take a break, just... How bad is it? Well, can we get through this form and <laughs> ask each other yes. questions? Yes. I just, I don't want to... I want to maintain the integrity of yeah. this All investigation right. and your rights, and you know, so I want to get through this form and then we can ask questions, okay? So I'm going to turn this around. Um, okay. Hi, sorry. Do you want me to write it regular? Okay. No. <laughs> I get I get so caught up in the uh, use of that. Yeah. My friends don't like it because in my vehicle. Yeah. My own vehicle that I drive, it's military time. And so they're always asking me what time. The thing I have is military because I came from Europe. And oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Military. They call it military, but it's not military. It's right. It's the... The proper time. Exactly. Well, good. At least then you know what, I, you know what it means then when I put the time on there like that. Yes. Um, so I would like to ask you questions about your day today, what happened, uh, you know, like how you, how you guys got to be in the Apple River today, and then like what your day was like. Mm-hmm. Um, it's up to you if you're willing to answer questions. If you decide that, yep, I'll answer questions right now, and in 10 minutes you don't want to answer anymore, you just need to tell me that, okay? And if you don't want to answer questions right now, then that's fine too, and I will leave. It, it's up to you. All I can say, it was a uh, it was self-defense. Self-defense, there are lots of people uh, that came on to me. Self-defense, and they produced two weapons, one I took from them. Okay. That's the only thing I can tell. And they were, they hit me, and they were on top of me, and that's, I don't remember anything after that. I just remember I ran away. I ran away to my, to my uh, group. There were actually people coming over from my group to see what was going on, I said, nothing, 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 just get back on, and, and they kept asking, and I said, nothing, nothing, I didn't explain to them anything, because I, I was I was so fearful, I didn't know what these people were doing to us, I, I've never been in a situation like this, where people produce weapons, on, and they were saying, they were uh, calling, um, don't, I, I don't remember, but they said, don't run, over, don't, don't run from us, don't do this, uh, you're a child molester, you're this. And he said, are you people drunk? Or you're a child molester. I said, the only thing I remember is, in my mind is, if I'm a child molester, should you be drinking? Should you be drinking alcohol and, and doing what you're doing to people that you don't even know, attacking them? And I said, if, if I'm a child molester, you should be having alcohol, you know? And and they took my, uh, I was snorkeling, so they took my snorkel away, they threw it in the water, they grabbed my pants, one wanted to put my pants down, and I grabbed onto him, and I don't know who that kid was, but he produced, he had a knife on, on him. And then there was another uh, knife, a longer knife, that uh, looked like a kitchen knife, um, okay. kitchen or something, I don't know. And I don't know what happened to either one of them. I just know that I, I when, when, when the kid attacked me, I took that from him. The kitchen knife or the other no, knife? No, the, small, the smaller knife. Okay, what did that knife look like? Do you remember? I don't even remember. But it was yeah. smaller? Smaller, yes. Okay. So, that's all. How I did know. you get to be by them? Or who are so, these people? So, uh, Adia lost his phone. Okay. The phone was in the floor. One of those bags? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah. Everyone had one, but his phone was in the floor, so he says, well, let's go look for it. So I put, put my snorkel on, and I looked, and this guy saw something, and they were talking about it, and I said, okay. This group of people? This group of oh, people, gotcha. yeah. I went over, and I said, did you guys find the phone? 
And if you did, can I see it? Can I identify it? And they started calling me names. They got off of their tubes. They came at me. So like, I said, all I need. And they were calling me all kinds of names, insulting me for being in the water with a, with a snorkel. And I said, all I want, guys, did you find the phone? And I saw they had a, they had found something, okay. all right? And I don't know if there was a phone or something else they found, but they wouldn't talk to me about what they found. And we were looking desperately to find this phone. And I know somebody found it, but I thought it was that group. Okay. You know, and then they went over, they, they came to me and they, they grabbed my snorkel and they threw it in the water. Well, the water was so fast, it went under. So I went out after it and they started uh, another group of mostly girls came over from, from the other side yelling at me or calling me child molester and I went something with uh, yeah, something like that and I, I went back I went I actually after this incident I didn't even I didn't don't even know what happened I just know that they, they attacked me and I had I was in self defense I went into self defense mode and then I went over to my my uh, group of people that was it and they asked me what happened and I wouldn't tell them I said I can't tell you I let me calm down okay. I was I was shocked so nobody on that knew exactly what happened. The only thing they say, said, well, you know, somebody got in an argument over there, like, yep, yeah, let's just, let's just leave that alone, don't, 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 don't go there. Are you able to draw for me, like, where you were looking for the phone, like, and where the, where was Ernesto and Sandy, and where was the school? Maybe it would help where's me kind of understand. Oh. Yep. These guys were here. I don't know how many, there were quite a few. Okay. We were up, up river about, about 100, 100 feet. We're, our group was here. And so you guys were in the water? Yes. Okay. So we were in the water. And then there was another group of people over here that came to, to attack me. So there was this group of people here, this group of people that attacked me, that attacked me here. So your, your, your group was floating down the river like this? But actually, we're stuck. But yes, this is the That's direction. the direction you yeah. were going. Okay, so your group is stuck. Yeah. And where's, where's, who's looking for the phone besides you? Like, how do you know the phone is missing? Oh, yeah, we talked about it. I yelled oh, okay. at the phone because I lost my phone. And so, well, you didn't lose it. It's floating down Because it's in that bag. Yeah, so let's go find it, you know. And he was over here pouting that he lost his phone. And I said, that's okay, I have my snorkeling gear. And then I heard this guy say that he found something. And when I was snorkeling down, I, I passed him. I get looking, and then I came up, I came looking, and then they started yelling and screaming. And, and I said, did you guys find something? And I thought they did. And I, I, I know they did, because they were hiding something from me. When, and then I went over there and they grabbed my snow, but they threw it down. They, they started, uh, they got up their, their uh, tubes. They came after me, they pushed me. One of them hit me, and then there was a girl that came from here and hit me in the back of my head. And I was about right there. You said right here? When she hit me, yeah. And that's when the, the female hit you? Yeah. And she was coming from another group over here. I don't know how many people were in there. But were these guys stopped? Uh, yes, in very shallow water. Okay, so it's really shallow over here. Shallow there. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much the two sides are shallow. Are shallow. Yeah. Was it what? How deep do you think it was when you were like snorkeling around with oh, it? Oh, four or five feet. Okay. Not very deep, and the water was very murky, so I could not see anything. Really. Like my uh, goggles, but those goggles are lost. We took them, we grabbed them off my face, and threw them in the water. We found the goggles. Oh, good. Thank you. And the trombo. Yes, yes. Yep. yep. Wait, are they connected? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. And they're just like regular trombo yeah. goggles, right? Yeah. I had okay. them over when I went to to the Caribbean. Okay. Yeah. What do they look like? Just to make sure we have white. the right one. White? Trans well, transparent plastic with the white snorkel. Okay. All right. Yeah. Is that it? I think, I think we have them. Okay. Um, was there any... Did it seem like these groups were together? 
after they came after me, I don't know. I, I yes. Okay. Yes, I think so. I mean, I feared for my life. Tell her the truth. When they started uh, hitting me and and and, and pointed a, a knife at me, and then another kid pointed a knife, I thought that was it for me. Luckily, I took it from from the one of the young kids, and I think that's when I saw him back. What could you do with it? I don't even know. Okay. I don't know. Absolutely, I don't know. I don't know if he got it back. I have absolutely no idea. Did you hit him? Like, did, it, did the knife make contact with him? That I don't remember. Okay. You were so close. Sure. And one had it in his hand, so I took his hand and I bent it, and I poked him with, with his own hand. And then I, I took it from his hand, and then I, I went and swung like this. So I don't know who I hit. I just know, I just know that I took the knife from from one of the kids. Okay. The other one, I don't know what happened to. I, I didn't get hit. Because as soon as this happened, I started running across. So I went across to, to my group. And then my group was wondering well, what just happened, was it? And I didn't, I didn't want to tell them anything. Just because you didn't want to? I didn't want to get uh, any, anybody aroused. I didn't want my group to go say, well, we're going to go talk to those kids. No, they were too drunk, I believe. They were too drunk and too to set on 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 uh, going off to people, I think. How did what were these guys doing? Did they, they know? Just, did, did they know anything was going on? No. So I, they didn't know you were getting punched or. Well, they saw the scalpel because at one point uh, Ernesto who was was coming towards me like, "Hey man, did you find anything? Anything?" And I said, "No, I didn't. I don't know. These guys must have it or something. I don't know." I, and he says, okay, well, well, he would just get another phone by Monday. He, he was concerned about getting the phone. And like, okay, so well, what are you doing? I said, I don't know, I'm just gonna go leave this shit in my, 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 my thing. And then Sandy says, okay, are you okay? And he said, I don't wanna talk about it. You know, and then they asked me, hey, well, what do you wanna do? You wanna stay here? You wanna go down? And I said, I wanna go down. And then, <clears throat> Some girls from my group heard that uh, something was happening over here, and they said, well, we're calling the police, and I think they called the police. Okay. One or two, I don't know. Did you see any of that, what was going on no. when they decided to call the police? No. Okay. No. Um, did you have a knife? No, you? no, absolutely. No. Okay. I had one earlier that I used to cut, but right at the beginning and I left it on, on the in the I, I don't even know what I, what I did with it. I think I either gave it to one of the people or I put it back in my truck. Okay. Yeah. So it may have been I think I don't I tell you the truth, I don't even know. And that was so. after you cut the string? Yeah, we needed to uh, have a, something to cut the string over there. They don't have any knives. So. But you have them with you today, right? The what? A knife to cut. How did that? I think it's in my car. Okay. Yeah. I think did you drive or did Sandy drive? I did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I, I don't even know uh, where it's at, that is the truth. Uh, it may be in one of the bags we had with us. It may have been in, in um, I, I don't know. It may be I left it, put it back in the car. Because I went back with a bunch of, I had ra uh, uh, straps. I didn't want to pay for string. But they say string you is can't. cheap. Well, they probably don't want you to have straps. If they told me, they said, yeah, if you have straps, there was a kid over there. If you have straps, no problem, but the, the, the string is free. So I said, okay, I'll take the string. Okay. You know, and then I took the straps back. So, because straps can puncture the... Yeah. yeah. So I took, I had a whole bag of straps that I took back to my car. Okay. And so maybe the knife was with the straps? Uh, probably. Um, did, do you have any cuts or marks on you? Have you had a chance to like look at your no. torso or? Uh, uh, somebody was telling me that I'm bleeding from my ear, from my left ear. 
Who told you that? Oh, uh, I think it was Amy. They said, Nick, you're bleeding from your left ear. I went like this, and I went in the water, I cleaned, and then I, I don't see any blood. You know, and I, I really, I don't know if you see any cuts, but I, I, mean, I don't. Yeah, uh, so I don't know where the, why I was bleeding from my ear. Um, but Amy saw blood? I think she says you're bleeding from your ear, Nick. And then I cleaned and I said, look, there is nothing. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it was blood or if it was wheat she saw. I have no idea. We were like, she was on the other side and I was just... Yeah, so she's over here, right? She's over here, yeah, right here. Oh, so she's yeah. closest, Amy's over here, closest yeah. to the shore? Yeah. Okay. With them next to it right here. And I was over here somewhere in one of these. Okay, and you got back in that tube then mm -hmm. when it was time yeah, to go? I got go? back in my own tube, yes. Okay. Um, did, did Ernesto come and get you? No. Like, did anybody know that you were getting no. punched or? No. No. Was anybody? They wanted to talk, to talk to me about the phone, if I found the phone and what did those guys say, and I said, they probably did, they don't want to give it up, they're, they're, they attacked me, and that's it. And then I said, let's go, I don't want to be here. Yeah. So they don't know what happened here. You didn't tell anybody? No. Okay. No. You're the first one to know. Okay. That's why probably Amy and everybody else is so surprised. Well, they're worried about you. Yeah. I mean, and they, and even Ernesto was like, I don't know how the hell this happened. <laughs> he, he, they don't know anything because I didn't, I didn't know what to tell, tell them. Yeah. I really don't know if everything happened so fast. I, I really don't remember why they attacked me. I don't know why they took my small small girl away. I don't know why one of them wanted to pull, pull my pants down. I don't know why they were being so mean. I just don't know. Yeah. I just don't know. And why did they want to scare me with, with a knife? I just don't know why they're, they're scaring people on the river. Maybe it's a family-oriented river with, with knives and, 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 you know, what they did. So were the two males that had knives? I saw two males. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And were they both from this group, or do you even, no, do you even know? Well, that I don't know. Okay. One of them was from this group. The okay. one that I took the smaller knife from, I think, was from this group. Okay. So you took the smaller knife from one of them. Um. And is that the one that you said that you kind of went? Yes. Uh, basically, like. Oh, I, I was, I was, I was going like this. I wanted, I wanted out. They were coming and they were punching me and they, they were uh, circling me and they came really close, they were pushing me in the water and I just grabbed the kid's knife. I didn't even know if I was holding it right. I just grabbed it from him because he tried to poke me with it. So, I feared for my life. It sounds like I was very shocked. I was extremely shocked. I couldn't even say anything to anybody. I had locked jaw, I don't know, right now, I don't even know how this happened, how I got away from all that. So when they were pushing you in the water, did you go underwater, or were you, I, you I were tripped. standing? No, I tripped, okay. I tripped and went and fell in the water a couple of times, yes. Um, where on your body did they hit you? In the back of my, my, my back. And I know one of the girls came over and spread me right over my right ear. I couldn't even see what they were doing because I was I was tripping, tripping over the stones and I was falling down and they were just jumping on me. I'm gonna show you a picture and see if you I was fearing for my life. I'm still fearful that they're gonna find out who I am and go do something to, to, to Sandy and possibly some of these people over here. I fear that somehow they're going to find out who I am and continue their whatever that was. And I don't know why they're so hateful. And 
I, I just don't get it. I mean, this is the second time I come to the river, the first time for my wife, and I promised her it was going to be a beautiful outing, and nothing to fear. We had a lot of booze. She didn't drink because she was the designated driver. But most of us didn't. And there was another girl that didn't drink on the other party because they wanted to drive home. We ate well. We had music. Everything was so good, so good, so good. Of course, I had a lot of alcohol. Who doesn't? You know, we're well, you had a sober ride. Yeah, yeah. And I don't smell it on you. Were you yeah. drinking beer or vodka yeah. or what? No, no, no. Okay. We don't do hard liquor because then we dehydrate too fast and yep. we get cramps. Okay. So after my quadruple bypass, I still have cramps. Oh, yay. Quadruple bypass? How long ago was that? A year and a half ago. Wow. Yeah, so do you see any wires in my chest, in my sternum? That's from the wire. Really? Do you have a pacemaker in there too or anything? No. no? Mm -hmm. I, I tell you the truth, I'm, I'm scared because I'm not in the best of health, okay? Yeah. I'm just going down the river. Probably should not have even drank or drank that much beer, but the doctor never said don't drink. Sure. You know, especially beer, you can have as much as you want in moderation. I was in cold water. Yeah. You know, so, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then missing vein here and then from my leg. Is that what they used to? Yeah, cut, take, take it here, take it from here, cut it in half, that's two. The same thing from my uh, leg, cut it in half, use the other two, so it's quadruple bypass. Wow. Yeah, I was dead. This, my heart stopped five hours. Wow. Had you had a heart attack that mm -hmm. prompted that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yikes. So I was in pretty bad shape. It sounded like it. Yeah. I bet Sandy was pretty scared. She was because uh, I was in the hospital for, for quite some time. I bet. I had met at this hospital, but it, they did a great job, uh, you know, and met at this hospital is probably one of the best hospitals for heart yeah, for surgeries. That. If you know somebody, I'll point them to Methodist. Yeah, my father-in-law had, had heart surgery there, too. He had a heart yeah. attack a few years ago, and that's right. So, yeah. Um, Do you need some more? No, that's it. Are you sure? I got an extra fresh bottle here. So, you want it? Yes, I can't travel with all uh, It's brand new too. I didn't yeah, drink out of it yet. So, Thank you so um, much. I probably am going to drink out of it now. So you can have yes. that and um, this is going to be my really work. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I take a medication that makes me really, really thirsty. So I have bottles of water rolling around in my I back seat. I've got them in the door pocket. Take, I'm supposed to take mine, but they're at home. And I don't know when I'm going to take them. Okay, uh, so you have medication that you need? Oh, can? yeah. Okay. Five medication. Because um, I can call Sandy and see... Uh, Oh, I'm not going to have her drive over here. Well, I might be able to send somebody and go get them. Oh. No. Just so that they get back here. And I mean, I'm sorry. She's taken right now. She's probably. But yeah. yeah well, we need, we need to make sure you have your medication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would, like I said, I wouldn't have her drive. Yeah. Yep. I might be able to send somebody there to oh. get them. What medications do you take, Nick? Oh, my God. Are they all heart related or some do well, different things? Two of them are heart related. Okay. Yeah. One is aspirin. That's heart related, right? Yeah. Blood thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, um, uh, potassium, because I'm getting a lot of muscle cramps. Okay. Um, That's four. There is one. There's another one. Uh, I'll tell you when I remember. Okay, no worries. Yeah. Um, were you on your phone at all during during your day today? I know that Sandy didn't bring her phone. I took some pictures. Okay. Then I put it away. Sandy does not like to take a lot of pictures because then they get posted on uh, Facebook, Facebook or Instagram or something. Yeah, but I'm okay if they take them, they can post them. Yeah, I did take a few. Didn't have a chance to do anything with them. Okay. Yeah, but I was not on the phone. I didn't call anybody. Okay. Did you use your phone around the time? No. Like right before, you know, you were looking no. for the phone no. or anything no. like that? No, not me. I, okay. Not like these guys. They're constantly on their phones. That's why uh, I yeah, lost his. Because he was on it too much? People can't enjoy life, you know, nowadays going down the river without being on their phones. 
first you take a lot of pictures, but it, the picture is not the same experience as being there. So, I don't know. Um, so do you think these the pictures that you took were like at the beginning of your journey or where do you oh, think? Oh, we did take, uh, I took a, a couple of group ones where they have that music uh, place in the bathrooms. Okay. We made a, a stop there to eat sandwiches. There are a lot of people over there. That that uh, beach was completely full. Lots of people there. Lots of people. It was a beautiful day in Texas. And this and this now will probably close that place down. You think so? Yes. Well, I don't know what 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 what, what resulted of it because I I don't know. Is this you? Yes. Okay. Who? What do you think was happening at that time? They were they were fighting me. They they pointed the knife at me. They pointed the knife at me. Both boys pointed the knife at me. Okay. Did you see anyone take this picture of you? No, God, no. I was, I was actually very, very uh, um, scared. Yeah. I was very scared. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what they were doing and why. I mean, I understand they were drunk, but you get drunk, I get drunk, we all get drunk. We don't do that kind of stuff, especially on a family river like this, family outing. We don't do that kind of stuff. Did but you I was very, you see, I was very, very scared. I didn't know what was going to happen next. Did you see the woman that hit you in the ear? Did you see her at all? No. I turned around, she hit me again. Okay. Do you remember what her bathing suit looked like? Mm, no. She was wearing? She, she was just yelling at me and calling me a uh, 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 child molester. That's how it all started. They kept calling me a child molester. I don't know, out of the blue. And then they wanted to beat me up because they said I'm a child molester. And then my argument back was to them was, if I'm a child molester and you're children, you shouldn't be drinking. You should yeah. not be out here drinking, okay, and doing what you're doing. Where are your parents? Did they look like they were young? Oh, they like, were, I don't know. I think they look pretty young to me. Okay. I don't think they were of the age of uh, drinking. Really? Yeah. I, I think. I mean, I don't. I, I don't know. I don't hang out with, with people like that. My my generation and people I hang out with are much older people. Like Ernesto and Sandy. Like Ernesto and Sandy and yeah. Amy. Yeah. 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 Amy is probably one of the youngest ones there. Sure. Fifty forty five and Sandy is sixty one. Yeah. So I'm younger. You know. So you said that they were standing really close to you. They were on I top of me. They were okay. pushing me, shoving me. I tripped. I fell down. I got up. And I, that's where I saw the, the one of the kids there it was the closest kid with a with a with a knife, and I grabbed it from him. And that was the the smallest. Yes, kid. yes. And he was in front of you. Was he was he as close as we are? Or oh, he, he was closer. closer. He okay. was closer. He was closer. But as soon as he came with the knife, I grabbed the knife from him. And what I did then, I mean I shouldn't show you, but I I grabbed and twisted his his uh, uh, arm and poked him with, with, his, and with his own uh, knife. Then, okay. then I took it from him and I started swinging. Okay. So I swung, I don't even know who I hit. Okay. I don't know if, if, if I hit the girl that hit me twice in the head from behind. I don't know if I hit another kid. I don't know, they're just on top of me. They're, they're, they chased me, hitting me and yelling at me and, and calling me, insulting me. That's it. Okay. So I don't know what knife they had. I don't know. I just saw two knives. That's it. The longer one and the shorter one. Okay. And I, I don't know where they are. I don't know who's got them. I don't know. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to um, get a sample of your DNA because I'm, if, if these knives don't belong to you, mm -hmm. I would imagine your DNA is not going to be on them. Well, I touched one of them. Yeah, you touched the one you grabbed. Yeah, you grabbed from the kid. Yeah. Um, 
Would you would you be willing to give me a sample yes. of your DNA? Okay. Yeah. Is that is that the good thing? Is well, it, I mean, what? Is, I mean, I don't know. I don't have a lawyer over here to us. Yeah, and certainly. So um, should I wait? Well, I've got a colleague that's that's um, in the process of writing a search warrant. So we're going to get it one way or another. Mm -hmm. I just thought if I could ask you, and we could just do it right now. I'll just like show you how to like what we would do. I know what it I is. would just get your DNA well, sample. Yeah, it's like a big key tip. Yeah. Um, we'd also like to do an exam, have a nurse examine your body. That, that's absolutely okay. Okay. And I want her to look in your ears, and I want her to look at your back, and, um, you know, the people that are in these groups, we're going to try to collect evidence from them, because they might have your skin underneath their fingernails, mm -hmm. or, you know, we're going to do our best to get any yeah. evidence. So, I mean, we yeah, know yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and, and I know everything that would happen in the river, so. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah and there's that part of it, too. Yeah. But. Um, Definitely. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You can call me. Okay. I just um, don't know if I had a lawyer present what he or she would say. Well, what I just want you to know that we would get it anyway. Okay. I've got a coworker that's writing a search warrant. If you would get it the anyway, judge. then let's do it. Okay. With okay. with the court order or just let's do it now and get no, it done? No, no, no. Let's do it now and, okay. and give you what you need okay. to start your your proceedings yeah. or your search. Yeah. Well, and yeah, I mean, if you you sound like you were really afraid. Yeah, um, I have I have a quadruple bypass. I have been out of shape. I have been in bed for for God for a long time for six months at least. I couldn't go to work. I'm not in the best. I mean, I was just floating down the river. Nothing much. Every once in a while, I got up so I could pee because I can't pee in the in the, in the tender. You know, shouldn't tell you that on camera, but yes, most people have to get up the the thing. So I got out. I would get up and then hold on and then get back in. I mean, I do, I don't do anything to 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 stay in shape. I just I'm a guy that wants to survive and work, keep working at reaching engineering. You know and. Why these things happen? I, it's beyond me. I mean, I, 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 I don't understand. I mean, why would they, that many people, come down on one person that didn't absolutely do anything, take his goggles, almost one wanted to pull my pants down. So I. Did your, did your trunks have like a drawstring? Yeah, yeah, so they yeah. didn't come down? Oh, no, oh. no, 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 no. They came down a little bit, but no, because I have a drawstring on them, so yeah, they, they couldn't pull it down. But why? All of a sudden, there were like wolves around me, and they were, they were attacking me from all their directions. And I, I truly, truly feared for my life. I didn't know what to do. I didn't. I mean, these guys were talking over there. I didn't know what to say. I mean, I, I was, I was just which guys are you talking? My, my, oh, my guys. Okay. My, my guys. So, and they were quite a bit distant, so they didn't see anything. I don't think they saw anything. And so, when you go back to your tube, do you guys get the hell out of there? Or no. Do you like, what do you do? We stayed there. Okay. Yeah, the girls called the cops. We didn't know what to do. Um, and we stayed there for a long time. There were people coming. We even saw the, the sheriff coming. And I, I, they kept saying, oh, oh my God, they didn't know what happened. So they said, oh my God, what happened? So there was a fight, there was a fight. And I said, yeah, I don't know what was going on after that. I thought they were still fighting. I Personally, when I came back, I saw a whole bunch of people coming over there and yelling at each other. And I thought they were still fighting for some reason. I didn't know what was going on. So I personally wanted to stay and watch to see if the cops get them for for fighting, you know, for whatever they're oh, doing. Sure. Okay. So I wanted to be a witness to them fighting. Okay. Or if they, the cops needed a witness, I wanted to sit there for as long as possible. And then the group said, well, there's so many people there. I don't know. Let's just get going. We don't want to get involved in this. And I was just in there. They attacked me. Yeah, but look at them now, they're attacking each other. I don't know what they're doing. So cops came and we stayed there for, I don't know, another 10, 15 minutes. With when the police were there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we decided we'll go. Nobody asked me anything and I said, I kept my mouth shut. I am down the river we went. Okay. So I was very shocked. 
I, I didn't know what, what just happened. Well, Sandy said that you were quiet. I was very quiet. And you didn't really talk. Didn't want, I didn't know what to say. Yeah. I mean, I get my, excuse my French, my ass kicked by a whole bunch of kids. What am I going to say? I just got my ass kicked by this kid. Now the police is on top of him. Well, I think something's going to come out of it. Yeah. So I thought the police was there because they were fighting, you know, I, because these were just boys. And they were being obnoxious, not, not only picking on me, then this girl came over and hit me. So these are girls over here? Well, mostly. Mostly. Okay. And this was all guys? Yeah, I didn't know who was in this group, but I know these were all guys because I, I was, I came, I was snorkeling back and forth, mm -hmm. and I asked them if they found something, and they said, well, you know, they started calling me a molester. Then I got up and one of them took my, my goggles, threw me in the river. I went after them. One of them wanted to pull my pants down. And there you go. So what happened? Can you tell me what happened? Yeah. Um, four people went to the hospital with injuries. Oh my God. And uh, one person died. Oh no. I don't know any of their names and I don't know any genders, so I, I don't Was know. Was that because they fought each other or is that the... I don't know. I don't know what their injuries are. I, I just, I was with Sandy the whole mm -hmm. time and then when I kind of turned Sandy over to Ernesto and Amy, then I came here. So mm -hmm. I, I, I have no idea what their injuries were. No. Um, oh my God. So we just need to be able to like piece this together, you know, in your statement. What other pictures did they give you or me? It's just that one. That's the only one I have. They didn't take, they, well, they have lots of cameras. You should take the yep, camera. Yes. And so I have colleagues, yeah. investigators that are, that are talking to all of those, you know, the, the people in the group and the other witnesses. So yes, we are, we are trying to collect. And I told them that so and Amy, um, cause they said that, Rosie? Rosie, yeah. Other pictures? Yeah. Okay. But um, I don't think she took any pictures of those guys. There well, was oh, at the at the stop at the stop up here. Yes, but yeah. you were you were snorkeling. They might have been like taking oh, something and yeah, yeah, we could have gotten yeah, yeah. we could get these guys yeah. in the background that they don't even realize they have it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, she would. So I asked them to go through their photos right, so that right, we would right, be right. Um, yeah, in contact yeah, with got them. It. Got it. Yeah. Well, I was. Uh, all of a sudden, you say that. Like, what would they take pictures of me going over there? No, you just never know what you get in a picture. Yeah. If you're, if they're sitting here waiting for you mm -hmm. and and uh, yeah. somebody else to find the phone. Did you, did you find his phone? Um, I don't know. Again, I was I've been with Sandy pretty much the whole time, and now I came here with you. So I do know I I, I did get a message that the goggles from snorkel were found. Um, so that's all the information that I have about like items that were located. Now my whole life is down the tubes. Well, I don't, I don't know if that's the case because people have the right to defend themselves. I know, but this is, oh, this is Wisconsin. This is Wisconsin. Okay. You continue on. I, okay. I, I, I usually know that people that, that defend themselves, they end up being accused of being this and being that. Well, I think if you'd asked me what I would have done, yeah, I, mean, no, not I don't know. No. Yeah, you don't know. I don't know. I, I would have been scared shitless, I can yeah. tell you that. When, when that many people yeah. Yeah, tried to pull your pants down and hit you and yeah. And two, two, two boys had knives on them. They didn't find any of those two knives? I, I don't know. 
I don't know, but we're looking. And, you know, we're looking before I get the dark out. Um, okay, right now we're 40. I'm glad I actually took that kid from my, he would have stabbed me. He was not there to scare me, he was there to harm me. At least I'm, I'm here, but I'm sorry for what, what, it, how it ended up. You're scared, like I said, I'm scared that they're going to be finding out where I live and they're going to be hunting us at night and they're going to be hurt, hurting my wife. Well, I will call Sandy soon as I meet her, okay, mm -hmm. and just check in on her. Uh, find out about your medication. Have you had any medicine this morning? No, I take them in the evening. Okay, take them in the evening. Yeah. What, what would happen if you don't take them Nothing. tonight? Nothing. I don't, I, I'm not even hungry to take the Okay. But if you don't take your medication tonight, is that life-threatening? Mm, I don't think so. No, okay. oh, I mean, granted what happened today, you know, I was shocked. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't think so. I just can't believe what happened. You know, they, need to, they need to maybe do sobriety tests on minors on that river. Maybe they need to put an end to drinking, uh, uh, underage drinking and doing drugs. The, the, that the river over there is, is turned into a sewer. My second time, and I have dragged my wife out of there pretty much against her will. I promised her it was going to be the best day. I made promises, promises. We're going to have a great time with this. But she didn't want to go. No. She always says, oh, places like this, all they do is uh, smoke pot and do this. Yes, there is a lot of uh, pot smoking over there. We don't know who's legal, who's illegal. I don't know anything about Wisconsin laws, but you can smell it. It was everywhere in here. Yeah. And I don't know what people do to, you do the DNA, you can find out, you know, what type of drugs are in my system. I've never done any of that stuff, so I don't know. I'm very clean and it's as clean as they go. You looked at my criminal record, you can keep digging, there is nothing there because I don't have anything, not even a parking ticket, not a speeding ticket. You know, I'm as a law-abiding citizen as they come. But I fear for my life too. I mean, I went through a, a, a very serious oh, absolutely. surgery absolutely. to be alive, to be uh, 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 knocked down by a bunch of kids on the river. Yeah, well, I, I understand. And I'm not blaming the police. It's, it's a, I believe that's a private land. They have to have their own security there, yeah. and they need to do better. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub these along your lower thumb line and kind of inside your cheek. I'm going to do both at the same time. It shouldn't hurt at all. If it doesn't, let me know. I'm going to put them in this box and then I'm going to feel this bag while we're sitting here so yeah. you can see that I, that I sealed it, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll just have you open up your mouth. Let's see here. Shouldn't, like I said, shouldn't hurt. All right. And you're okay with having the nurse do the exam on you? If you need pictures of your mouth on the body, you okay with that? Yeah. This actually are from drag from uh, trying to get out of the the, okay. the tubes in shallow water. Okay. You know, I had a hard time trying to stop the the train. Yeah. Can I just I'm gonna I know the nurse will too, but I'd like can I take, oh, can I take a picture of it? Yes. Okay. But this was not from the confrontation. Oh, this wasn't. No. Oh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood that. No, this was from scrapes on the river bottom. When I was when you're snorkeling. snorkeling. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, please don't use that. Yeah. Okay. I didn't touch those kids. I did okay. not. I did not swim, nothing. No, no, no. Okay. I'm going to go call. I'm going to seal this up. 
because I told you I was going to do that. And then I'm going to go call the person that um, has the nurse kind of on standby so that we yeah. can um, get that taken care of. Um, I'm also going to give Sandy a holler. Oh, look at that. Let's tape this thing. Oh, no. Love of that. Is this good? Well, I didn't like it because it's all... And it's not going to be big enough to do what I need to do here, so we'll try it again. Worst case scenario, I can always bring it to my office next door and, and do it in the evidence room. But I'm going to try to take care of it here. Probably drives up. When it dries up, it's probably... Well, and then it's real sticky and it's real finicky, so if you get it stuck on something, it's, yeah. you know, it's meant to not... Uh, the other the camera. Yeah. So, okay. it ripped on my fingers. So, I'll just. It goes so fast. Okay. Um, so, I'm going to go call my supervisor who had been in contact with the nurse. Um, and just let them know that we're going to do that, um, and then I'll be, I will be back. Do you have any questions now? I do not. Yeah. Do you need to go five. I can, have, I can make sure that happens. Um, I'm just going to write your name on here so that... J is 730 22. And why you? Yep, this is, oh. that means no middle initial. Oh, then, oh, did I spell it wrong? It's no, M-I-U. Yep, M -I -U. I did. Yeah. It's M-I-U. There we go. Okay, that's yours. I will be back in a minute. In the meantime, I'll have one of the jail staff in the bathroom. And are you still doing okay? Do you need, how's your water there? I have nothing for now. Okay. It's going through a lot of the as of the recording of this video, the jury is deliberating the fate of Nikolai Mew. The trial started on the 1st of April, 2024, and the closing arguments were on April 10th, the eighth day of the trial. While we do not yet know the fate of Nikolai Mew, and again, I know that there will be people on both sides of this one, let us know what you think in the comments. Was this murder? Was it self-defense? Was it something in between? We will certainly update you with the verdict when it is reached. We appreciate you all for watching. We have a lot of new cases coming soon, so make sure you're subscribed, and we will see you in the next one.